Hey guys, I am surrounded by the best dog car seats. That's what I'm checking out today and I'm going to give you a little glimpse of some of the features of each of these car seats one by one. I've ranked them all um, according to what they're the best for. Some are best for small dogs, some for large dogs, some are the best for safety reasons. If you're thinking about a dog car seat, it's really a great investment for your pet if you take them with you quite frequently. If you only take your dog for a ride once or twice a year when you go to the vet, it might not be the best option. They usually are quite expensive. Some of the cheaper ones you can get uh, for smaller dogs usually under $50, which isn't too bad, but if you're only going to be using it once a year, you might not want to make that investment. They do keep your dog much safer when they're in the car. They keep your pet tethered to one area. He's in his seat, so he can't be climbing around, distracting you, maybe climbing over in your lap, bumping the shifter, anything like that. Um, it's also better in case of an emergency if you happen to get in an accident and there's a broken window or a door left open. If you're in the parking lot of, say, a busy shopping center and the door gets left open on accident, your dog can't jump out of the vehicle. So there's multiple reasons to invest in the best dog car seat. Let's take a closer look at some of these products so that you can see why I've ranked them on the top of my list. This is the Snoozer Luxury Lookout Pet Car Seat, and it takes the first spot on my list as the overall best dog car seat. Now you can see that this is quite a boost for your pet, so he's gonna be able to look out the window. That's something that I look for in the car seats that I rank as the best. Dogs like it better when they can see out the window. I like it when they're raised up a little bit um, so I can see them better. We have better contact so that they know that I'm there and they're still all right, even though they're stuck in their own seat. Um, this one is a bit pricey, and I I'll talk more about the details of the seat and um, show how it buckles into my car. It's very easy to buckle in. Um, this is really a great choice. There's two different sizes, a small and a medium, um, and they can hold dogs weighing up to 25 pounds. So this is a really great choice if you have a smaller dog. So the Snoozer Lookout Luxury Pack Car Seat, it is uh, quite bulky in your car. It takes up a lot of space. Um, so if you don't have, I have a, a 2016 Nissan Pathfinder, it's a bigger um, SUV, so we have plenty of room, but if you don't, that might be an issue. Um, all you do is buckle it around here. There's a little pillow inside here, so I take the pillow out and just make sure you pull the seat belt tight, then you can put your pillow back down in. It also comes with this little strap it's got a plastic buckle. You can buckle it around the car seat. And then when your dog climbs in, you can attach this part to their harness and your dog can't uh, jump around the car. So hopefully Molly will come over here for us. Come on, Molly. Come on, there's my little girl, get in here. Here she comes, come on. You gonna come in? There, good girl. So you can tell that Molly's used to it. It may take your dog a little while to get used to it, um, but she's buckled in here now. It lifts her up nice and high so she can see out the windows. This car seat retails for $130 to $160, depending on uh, the size that you get. This is a medium for Molly. It fits dogs up to 25 pounds. She's about 28. Um, you can see Molly wants to jump back into the front seat right now, but she's not able to. Um, you can adjust the strap to give your dog a little more or less room, depending on their size. Um, I'm gonna let Molly climb out so she can, go on. You can climb out now, I unhooked you. There you go. So you can get a little bit better look. Um, it does have the pillow for added comfort, so that's nice. And again, um, it does come with this little uh, leash attachment or harness attachment, I guess you could say. Um, let's see, the micro suede cover zips off. So this, the part that you can see that's blue, that zips off, it's washable. So uh, if your dog makes a mess in the car, which most dogs do, um, you can clean that easily. Um, the small, so this isn't the small, this is the medium, but the small, the outside dimensions would be 19 high by 15 wide by 17 long, um, and the inside would be 12 inches wide by 14 inches long. That holds pets up to 18 pounds. Um, and then this is the medium, so it's 19 inches high, 22 inches wide, and then 17 inches long. Um, and the inside is 18 inches wide by 14 inches long. And this, again, can hold pets up to 25 pounds. So if you guys have any questions about the Snoozer Luxury Lookout Car Seat, feel free to email me, Samantha at TopDogTips.com. Uh, Molly loves riding in this. You can use it in the front or back seats, which is nice as well. Um, so if you guys have 
have any other questions, you want to know how um, anything else works or how it's holding up for us, we've had this car seat for about a year um, and it's still going strong. It is made of just foam. So um, unlike some other dog car seats that have like a hard base, um, this one has the foam. So that might not be what you're looking for, but uh, if you're looking for something that's just going to give your dog a comfy place to sleep and lift them up, keep them contained so they won't jump in your lap, uh, this is a good choice. At number two on my list, I have the Fido Rido. Now, this is a really unique product. It's actually a three-in-one product. You can see the hard sides are made of plastic. This actually can be a dog bed. You can see how it would be quite a comfy, kind of elevated dog bed for your pet. Um, of course, it's a car seat, and you can actually use the plastic tub, um, I'm sorry, the plastic bottom as a tub for your dog, for your small dog. So um, this is actually a patented design that's three in one. It's a car seat, bed, and tub um, all in one. I'll show you, it's very easy to buckle in. It fits very securely in a vehicle. I like that this one has the hard plastic sides. A lot of car seats you're gonna find are made of foam so they kind of swish down and I don't know how safe they would be in an impact I like the fact that this one's a little bit more sturdy um, this can hold dogs up to 30 pounds or you can also do two dogs um, two small dogs you know that weigh 15 pounds each or two small dogs that weigh under 30 pounds so let me give you a look at this in the vehicle and show you uh, some of the features of this product so here's the Fido Rido, and it's really easy to buckle in your car. I'm going to have to apologize for my little Beagle Molly because she's going to make an appearance here. Um, she knows that this is her seat. So, Molly, no, get down. you got to get down or get in the front. So it comes with this little um, removable washable cover, and you can see the hole right here. There's another one on the side. All you do to buckle this in is feed your seat belt through those two holes. Sorry, it's winter here in Maine, so I'm all bundled up with my jacket and my gloves. Okay, so you clip that in and then you're gonna pull it nice and tight. Um, and there is a sign on this side of the Fido Rido on the inside, it says this end against seat. So you can't confuse which end is the front, which end is the back. Then you just put your cover back on. Make sure it's nice and tight on there and on each side you have these little straps can you also see there's a zipper pouch on the front and there's actually little um, attachable sticky hooks so you don't have to have that on there if you don't want to now Molly's gonna climb in because she knows the drill so you can see these little metal um, d-rings on the side of the harness there's also one in the middle for a leash and your clips on each side are um, adjustable so you can make them a little bit longer if you need to. This one's fitted perfectly for Molly. So we're going to clip one side to her harness on this side. Somewhere over here is the other one right there. It's harder to do with gloves on. Um, so you just clip both sides in. Your dog's in there secure. You can see the nice booster seat. Molly's up. She can look out of the window. She's nice and comfy cozy in here. Uh, the Fido Rido retails for $105.40. All the parts I said are washable. Um, it is that three-in-one patented design. When you order this, you're going to get the Fido Rido seat, the booster seat. Um, you get the strap set the two straps on the sides, the harness, and um, the pouch on the front here, plus the removable washable cover. So you get all those for your $105.40. Um, if you use the Fido Rido harness and the strap set kit, like I set it up here, if you were to get in an accident or have to stop suddenly, it equalizes the pressure of a sudden stop um, by the harness and attaching your dog on both sides. So your dog's not going to go flying. Um, again, you know, this keeps her Molly right in her seat. Um, you can loosen these straps and tighten these straps. Depending on your dog's size, Molly can lay down comfortably. She can sit up. She could stand if she wanted to. Um, so it's very comfortable for Molly, which I'm happy about. I really uh, enjoy the Fido Rido. I love the versatility of it. We don't really use the... Um, the bathtub is doesn't really work for us just because we don't need it but um, it's a great travel bed to just take this out and your dog can have a bed wherever you go with them so um, I you know I really like a lot of the stuff I wish it was a little bit bigger you know Molly just meets the size for this one so um, it'd be nice if it could fit a dog that was a little bit bigger maybe like 40 or 50 pounds instead of just 30 but um, you know car seats are pretty much only 
uh, made for small dogs. It's very rare that you see some that are made with large breeds. At number three on my list, I have the Devoted Doggy Luxury Pet Booster Seat. Now, this one actually has a metal frame construction, um, and then it has a removable plush liner and covering. So your dog actually sits down inside of kind of a bucket. Um, I call this, I refer to this as a bucket style dog seat. So instead of the booster where, um, you know, it's they're lifted up like the snoozer and they sort of sit on top, um, and the Fido Rido is the same way, they sort of sit on top, this one is lifted because because you can adjust these straps um, on the seat, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. So you can boost them up, but they actually sit down inside the basket. Um, so it's a different style dog car seat, but this one's a great one for pet parents that are on a budget. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the price, show you the features, and I'll show you how easy it is to put in your vehicle. And of course, our little dog Molly will jump inside for you so you can see how she likes it. This is our little Molly Beagle, and she is sitting in her devoted doggy luxury pet booster seat. So you can see how this lifts her up off the seat a little bit, gets her up higher. She can see out the window, which is really nice. Uh, this one has a metal frame construction that is collapsible, so it's great for traveling or storing away if you don't take your dog with you all the time. Um, I'm going to show you how easy this is. Molly's a little bit too big for this. Keep that in mind. Molly weighs about 28 pounds, and this is uh, rated for dogs only 20 pounds. So I put her in here just to demonstrate it for you, but um, just keep in mind that your dog wouldn't be quite so big if they're under that 20 pound mark. So Molly is buckled in here. I'm going to let her climb up. You want to get out? So this one's pretty easy to install. Molly's going to keep coming back. She wants to get back in here. Um, so there is a strap on the bottom. This will work with any bucket seat. Keep in mind, um, we are in, I have a Nissan Pathfinder. This is our back seat. Um, and there is a space between the seats. So they're not necessarily bucket seats, but it works because there's a space between the seats. If you have all one bench seat, this is only going to work on bucket seats. So you'd have to use it in the front of your vehicle. Um, so there's a strap on the bottom here. And this is obviously just to my car but it is adjustable you put that around the bottom of the seat and clip it and then this one um, I wish it had a buckle it'd be a lot easier but it doesn't it has an adjustable strap um, and actually these do come off so I guess it's kind of the same thing but it would be nice if there's a bucket a buckle in the middle like there is with the bottom one um, so these clip and then you just straighten it out. It's good to go for your dog. This strap's adjustable. The back, the bottom strap, I mean, is adjustable. There's also this attached little lead here, and this is adjustable as well. It's out as long as it goes right now for Molly because she's, like I said, a little bit bigger than the normal dog that would get in here. But you can tighten it up if it's not long enough for your dog. And that clips to their harness so they can't jump out um, and escape. So again, for dogs under 20 pounds, the adjustable leash comes with it. Um, there's a little zippered storage pocket in the front here so you can put um, any dog supplies that you might want to bring with you so it's just in the in the front it's not gonna hold a whole lot but it'll hold like uh, a leash a collar um, any kind of training aids if you're taking your dog somewhere to train anything you might need at the vets can go in there if you're bringing them uh, this is obviously the blue and beige there's also a black and gray option if you're not a huge fan of these colors um, the uh, excuse me, the basket itself is 14 inches long by 12 inches wide and it's seven inches deep. So you can see that Molly sits down in a little bit, but it still raises her up enough to see out the window. Um, this product does come with a 100% unconditional lifetime money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied for any reason, um, they do have that guarantee. So they stand behind their product, which is really great. Um, this is the best option, in my opinion, for pet parents on a budget. It's $39.95 on Amazon right now. Uh, so it's, you know, it's very reasonably priced. Um, it's the basket itself isn't super sturdy. I do prefer uh, a car seat with a hard harder base but this one's you know those ones are like up over a hundred dollars so if you're on a budget and you're looking for something that's going to keep your dog in place in the car this is a great option Rounding out my top four is the Travel Hound Pet Booster Seat. Now this one's very similar to the one from Devoted Doggy. It's kind of that same style where your pet sort of sits down in the basket. Um, but you'll notice that this one has a couple of other features as well. It is a little bit cheaper, but it also only holds dogs that weigh 12 pounds or less. So this one's a really, if you have a small or a teacup breed, uh, not really limits the dogs that you can use with it. But if you do, or use it with, uh, sorry. But if you do have a small dog, this is a great option 
in. It's very affordable. Um, I'll show you how easy it is to install. And of course, I'll put Molly in it. She's a little bit over the um, weight range, so I don't drive her around in it. But she does fit in it, so you can get the gist of it and see uh, how your dog would fit in it as well. And when you get this, there's a little bracket like this. Um, there's two little, first you have to put the bottom in there, and then there's these two little pieces of tubing that you sort of stuff the bracket into. Um, and this is what gives the basket its shape. It's hard to do with gloves on. So it's not hard to do, it only takes a couple of seconds burr. Um, I live in Maine and it is the winter here, so I am gonna put my gloves back on. Um, so once you have that done, it's really easy. That's what gives it its shape. It's got this uh, steel, uh, sorry, not steel, but uh, metal frame construction. So there's a bottom buckle and a top buckle. This can work on any bucket seat. So I have a Nissan Pathfinder. My back seats are, it looks like a bench seat, but there is a line um, separating them. So what you want to do is put this through the crack and then buckle it around so it's around the seat. The top part doesn't have a buckle. I wish it did. It would make it a lot easier but you just kind of hang that from the headrest. So if you have a bucket seat with a headrest you're good to go. Um, if you don't have one in the back then this would have to go in the front of your car uh, which I don't like my dogs to ride in the front seat even in a car seat so that would be a deal breaker for me but it does work in the back of my car. You'll see it gets your dog up a couple inches off the seat so uh, she can look out the window whatever. I'm going to show you uh, our little beagle Molly and how she fits in here. So here's our little beagle Molly now. Keep in mind, Molly weighs um, about 28 pounds, and this is made for dogs that only weigh about 12 pounds or under. Um, so this is a, a car seat for a very, very small breed. There is a leash clip in here. It's not long enough for Molly because she's way too big for the seat, but we don't have a dog small enough. So uh, I just wanted to show you that it does work. It does hold the weight of a dog. Um, and there is a leash clip in here that attaches to your dog's harness so they can't jump out. Do you want to get out of there? You can get out of there. I guess not. Um, so again, you know, front or back seats, if you have the bucket seats in the back, your dog can be secured in here. The basket dimensions are uh, 13 inches wide, it's 11.5 inches deep, and then it's eight inches high. So um, this is really, you know, ideal for very small dogs. Keep that in mind. There is a storage pocket in the front that has a little bit of Velcro. It's not huge, but it would be big enough to hold uh, a leash, some treats, you know, a collar, anything that you might want to bring with you. You want to get out of there? Come on. Nope. Um, so the mesh side panels give plenty of air, which is something that you don't see in a lot of other dog car seats. So uh, and now I can show you there's a little leash attachment. If you can see it, it just clips to your dog's harness. Um, so, you know, if you have a little small dog, an extra small teacup dog, something like that, under 12 pounds, this is going to be a great option. If you have a bigger dog, you're going to have to look for uh, a different option, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. We really appreciate you guys tuning in whenever we post a new video. Of course, you can check us out on our website, topdogtips.com. So be sure to bookmark that and check back often because we are always publishing new reviews, um, product information, top 10 lists, information about dog care, grooming, training, um, all aspects of dog care health, and uh, we share some vet tips on there, all kinds of great stuff. So if you're a dog owner, dog lover, that's the site for you. Also, be sure to find us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Uh, you can find us on Pinterest as well. So uh, make sure to follow us and then you'll stay up to date with everything that's going on on our website and on our social media. You'll see all the newest videos whenever they're posted. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. All you have to do is go to YouTube, search for Top Dog Tips. We're right there. Subscribe and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So be sure to do that. Thanks again for watching watching guys and I'll see you back soon with another great Top Dog Tips video.